friends and welcome to Tuesday, August the 14th in our fourth weekly vlog. We are so happy you are here with us today. We've taken a quick trip to Target and I have some Mickey's 90th to share with you. It's, it's in the little things. I have three of these little Mickey mystery containers with the two-piece collectibles in them to open with you today. And I'm going to show you real quick what these containers look like. That is the front and on the back side it shows you all of the different possible ones that you can get and these were $4.99 at our Target. Okay, finally getting this one open. It's really cute on the outside so let's see who we get. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, okay, we got, I'll show you the first one. He's got like a light blue shirt on and there's his sweet little face. So that's the first one in this mystery set. Really like these. I'm hoping I can get them all and set them up. And here's the second one. There's Mickey. open this one too just how cute these little containers are once you get the wrapping off I'm definitely going to keep these and set them up and maybe put some little things in them there's what it looks like with no wrapping and I think that's really cute Ooh, okay oh I'm really glad I got this one here I can't wait to show you guys this is one of the ones I really wanted to get so here he is I really like the black and white one, but this other one here is a double, and he is a double, but always good for a giveaway. Got one more of these ones to open, and these are not the easiest things in the world to get open. They're like double packed here, but that's okay. We'll get them open here real quick. <laughs> I am awful. I hope I'm not the only person having so much trouble getting these open. Okay, number three now. Let's see, ooh, oh no, oh wait, wait. Ah, this one is different, okay, okay. I got one double in here again. So I got another one of this Mickey. I thought this one was a double too, but then when I looked at it closer, it's not, so I'm really excited. And I love how he's got the number one because Mickey is number one. Here he is. Yeah, he's holding the number one up. So when I first saw him in the container, I thought that whoop, it was this guy. But those are definitely two different Mickeys, so really like those. I got the comic Mickey, the plain crazy Mickey, which I was really glad to get. Mickey Mouse and the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So those were the ones that I got. I'd really like to get Steamboat Willie and I'd like to, of course, get so Okay, I'd like to get them all, but you know, they're all really cute. Those are all the different ones you can get. So I got three of those for you guys to see. Those were $4.99 at our Target, but I also got one of the mystery bags and these I believe you get one and these were only $2.99. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one. Really excited about this one. So here's the one I got in the bag. I love this one. We love the bands at Magic Kingdom in case he was in the band. So really excited to get this one. That's the Mouseketeer. Miska Mouska Mouseketeer. All that was super cute. That's some of the Mickey's 90th that I picked up, but I also picked up something else that I had never seen before that's only at Target. And I wanted to share that with you today too. And that is these only at Target Hasbro Posable Comic Collections. And I got this one and I believe, let me check, it was $29.99. But I really love these and I cannot wait to get them out and set up. They just, I don't know, they just really grabbed my eye when I saw them. So here's the Ariel and Friends that I got. And if you can see down inside, they've got like little stands. Like she's got a little shell right here. I don't know if you can tell from the glare. 
I'll take them out and I'll record them that way too so you can see them a little better. There's the back of the box. It's got like a comic strip on it. And then as well to go with that, I saw that they had these Disney comic collection books that went with this. And this was $9.99 and it is, uh, here's the front, show you real quick. And then these are hard. These are really hard. And I thought, well, they were going to be a little book. And then when I picked them up, they're quite big in here. See if I can show you somehow here. Look at all the pages in there of the books and look how colorful. And there's tons of comics on there. Yeah, let me show you a couple of the pages up close. Like there's the front page. And then, yeah, look at how bright and colorful these pages are. There's a couple, and then this one's really cute. Look at the bright, beautiful, colorful Ariel. I love it. And so there's several of these pages throughout, and they go with these, and there were several of them. They were $9.99. But what I'm going to do is kind of set the book up in the background on my shelves, and then take these figures out, and I'll show you guys once I get it set up. So I'm going to take these figures out and then set this book kind of behind them and put them together. I think they're going to look really pretty and colorful. I love color and I was really happy to see those. And I got one other thing and that is one of the new Blu-rays that came out. And that is Avengers Infinity War. I hope that you enjoyed that look at some of the Mickey 90th merchandise. We'll definitely be bringing those couple of doubles up in a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. We hope that you really enjoyed seeing this. We have something fun and exciting coming up this week. Elijah's first football scrimmage is coming up. I believe it's Thursday, so we're really looking forward to bringing you along on that. And hope you all are having an awesome day. <laughs>
All right. Oh. I said, saying that that's the best way to deal with any parent paperwork is oh. to get a pizza. Yep. <laughs> there's a lot of paperwork. We might have needed two. Feeling like I'm Mike Wazowski, but there's the pizza, and uh, we're gonna take it home and eat it. We are at the South Hills Village Mall today. It is Saturday, August the 18th. And Casey was just saying it's 081808, frontwards or backwards, which is pretty cool. But we are here today to check out the Disney store to see if they have any new Halloween merchandise. Deluxe figurine set, The Nightmare Before Christmas, for 25 years of the movie is $24.95. Disney Toy Box, Jack Skellington and Zero action figure is $12.95. Adult Sally costume sweater dress is $59.95. This one is definitely bright colorful and cheery and will make you smile. Children's Sally costume. This one is $49.95. It is a three-piece set and it is also very cute. Maleficent horns are $19.95 and I think Casey is the perfect model. Jack Skellington mask is $16.95 and also for the 25 year celebration. Adult Jack Skellington blazer is $69.95 and this is the one that really just blew me away. It has incredible detail, especially on this lining. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. Kids Jack Skellington costume set is $34.95. Here is a look at the front and then the little bow tie and a quick look at the back of this blazer for you. Infant Jack Skellington costume is $24.95 with the matching hat. Here is a look at the back and then there are matching booties for $9.95. Infant Sally costume also $24.95 and the matching hat on this one is so cute. Just love Sally's lips. Here is the back of that one and of course the matching booties for $9.95. This kid's Ursula costume is $32.95. Love the unique take on this costume and it's bright and sparkly and super fun. The Cheshire Cat costume for kids is also $32.95, very similar to the Ursula costume. Really like the pink and the purple, and of course you have to have the matching ears. And then here is a look at the back of the Cheshire Cat costume. This adult Glow in the Dark Spirit jersey is $49.95, Mickey on the front spider webs going up the arm and then it says boo across the back it's just a bunch of hocus pocus mug is $14.95 and it is plain on the inside this hocus pocus pin set is $16.95 cute I put a spell on you sparkly journal also $16.95 this unique Binks lounge fly purse is $64.95. Really love how different this one is. Binks is my spirit animal shirt is $26.95. And I just think this little cat down here on the back is everything. Oogie Boogie dish that spins is $34.95. Thought this one was really nicely made. Zero plush is $9.95. He definitely wants to come home with you. He is very soft and I love his pumpkin nose. Nightmare Before Christmas luggage. Very cute. Lots of detail. It is a spinner. It is $59.95. You can see the detail there as I get closer. And then here is a look at the handle on this luggage. 
ladies PJs are $29.95 and we'll show you quickly on the front what they look like when you take them out of the package. Men's PJs are also $29.95 and I got a kick out of this one because they say I'm the boogeyman. Poison Apple Cup also glows in the dark. It is $14.95 and a lot of fun for Halloween. Not Halloween, but who can resist a scrum? This cup is also $14.95. Edna Mode Limited Edition to 3000 Christmas Ornament is $24.95 and she talks and has different sayings. This mug reminds me of the Boo to You Parade at Walt Disney World. It says Boo to You on the back and it is $16.95. These Minnie and Mickey plush are $14.95 a piece. Cute little details there of the skull buttons and I think they're the perfect pair. Kids mini shirt that glows in the dark. It's fluorescent. You can see the green and the orange. It is $16.95 and the back of this one is just the plain black. Kids spirit jersey that matches the adults is $29.95 and I love that it says Little Boo on the back. This shirt is $31.95. It is for adults, and we got a kick out of all of the sayings on the shirt, and it says it's good to be bad. Super fun for Halloween, and the back of this one is also just the plain black. Checking out the windows on the outside of the Disney store and I've never noticed before that those Mickey pants right there have a Pinocchio tag, which is so funny because you know you've got your Cinderella on this one and of course Snow White, but they have the Pinocchio tag on the Mickey pants. I think that is really cute. Sunday, August the 19th, we are at Shaker Woods Festival in Columbiana County, Ohio. It is mostly a craft show. We're going to go in and of course check out some yummy food and kettle corn and they may have some entertainment. Mm -hmm. But we are out here, uh, you park in just like a big grass field and Casey's got the bug spray because I am number one prime for getting the bug spray. <laughs> so like I said, it's in Columbiana County, Ohio. It is $8 to get into the festival, but all of the parking is free, which is pretty cool. This is an annual event, and I will make sure... Three weekends. Three weekends, yes, that's right. I, I didn't forget to say that. It is three weekends. It goes on for Saturday and Sunday for three weeks in August, and I will put a link to their website down in the description box if uh, this is something you guys want to check out after we show you what all is here. I love coming to festivals in the fall. Oh yeah. There's something about it. And you know what? The weather is not bad today. Oh. I mean, Casey's got jeans on. Today's very nice. It's, it's very 70s, nice. Yeah. Green. It's gonna be a perfect day to be here. Elijah's is not with us today. He's yeah. setting this one out. <laughs> I gotta say, he's not the biggest fan of going to a craft show. Golf carts only and pedestrians only. So we will take this bridge in. That's cool. The neat thing I like it's about like your bridge out here in the parking lot. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. One of the things I like about coming to Shaker is the fact that inside there is the festival, and you can't even see it yet. Oh, I know because it's, yeah, that's true because it's in those woods up there. Casey, you 
picked up like a booklet that they have here. It's like a little paper. Yeah, Shaker Woods Festival. And it's got some stuff about the events. Like local events. Yeah, and here's your um, entertainment for the week. Okay. All the Shaker Woods entertainment. Yeah, and then there's some ads from sponsors and then there is a map. Okay, so here's a map of the festival itself. And then it tells you where all the different booths are that you might be interested in. Yep. Right? These are the names of the places. Yep. And then those numbers coordinate over here on the map depending on what you might be interested in. And this is huge. Yep, these stay here. These are permanent little structures. And they stay in these woods and then they have a couple of other shows. There may be some information over there, Casey, at this information booth. They have some other shows. They have like Christmas in the Woods here and some other ones. And then uh, they'll be, these will be used again. Whoop. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's one that we were talking about. It's an old fashioned Christmas in the Woods. And that one is in October. that Buckeyes right there. Yes, he would. Those are cool. Also dress. That's really cool. Yeah, and then you put your your house numbers and stuff in. For all the Steelers fans, not me. I'm a Browns fan, but for all the Steelers fans, that sign's pretty cool. Yep. That's a really cool booth right there. There's a lot of cool wooden things. Don't make me flip my witch switch. Checking out the handmade Checking cutting the board. Cutting board. And it is Disney. How awesome. Country Confections Gourmet Apples. Ooh. Do you want to go check those out? We're kind of being a little careful about what exactly we record because some booths say, you know, they don't want yep. you to record any of their things, but they have, we had a sample and the candied apples were great, but Casey's waiting because we just got Elijah this to take him home as a surprise. It is a chocolate and mint covered pretzel, which he is going to be thrilled about. Oh yeah. And how much was that? Two dollars. Two dollars. And that's big. It's a big. Yep, mint chip pretzel. Mm -hmm. He's gonna love that. So we didn't get any apples. We got him the pretzel, but no apples yet. No, oh, okay. The free sample. Was well, those were really awesome. Those were really awesome. Yes. Oh, look, and they over here, Casey. They've got some face drawing going. Wow. How cool is that? Five dollars for each face. You and I should get ourselves done someday, huh? We should do that someday. Before we get much older. Uh, yeah, this sign is totally cracking me up. Husband waiting area. Although my husband is a bigger shopper than me. I see Ohana. Ohana. And then a Boo Mickey shirt. And then a Sally. And then there's another Mickey design down here. You can always find Disney. You can gonna, always find it everywhere. Uh-oh. You're gonna love the earrings. Oh, all of them? <gasps> I see Mickey earrings. There's just rows of them. Oh no. Oh boy. <gasps> Casey, look! Look at those. Yep, I, I said you're gonna love them. There are tons of earrings here and there are tons of Disney ones and they are $6 or three for 15. Yeah. It was such a hard choice, but I'm going to go ahead and get these Mickey ones with the wreaths and that just might give away when we're going back to Disney again. So I just gave everybody a little hint about when our next Disney trip might be. I showed them some Mickey Christmas earrings. <laughs> so we thought it'd be kind of cool for the question of the week to be for you guys to take a guess of when you think we're going to be in Disney and leave it down in the comments below. We can't rate to read them. It's going to be so much fun. This wooden boo sign right here is totally giving me all the Haunted Mansion vibes because it's got the eyes on it and stuff. 
25, definitely a Haunted Mansion vibe with that one, Casey. Yes, yes, definitely. That is really cool. that was on Casey's sandwich. <laughs> and it's absolutely, well, yeah, it looked like it. It's absolutely massive. They also have things for our furry friends, canine confections, dog treats, collars, bandanas, and jackets. Those are adorable. They got little lids on them and then you can get them personalized with just like that one says fur babies or their names on there. How cute! I think the Sanderson sisters need a fourth sister. Casey is in line right now to get the kettle corn that we knew we wanted to get when we came. He's getting, who knows what he'll get, he'll probably get more than what we need. But I am on my way now to get a shaved ice, which they also have here. I haven't had one all summer, and so I thought when I saw it, I gotta get this while I'm here today. But it's been a really fun time here so far. It's really relaxing. We would definitely recommend coming if you love crafts and festivals and just trying food and just having a good time. It's been a lot of fun here so far. This is a juried show, so the crafters that are here, uh, they jury their products to make sure that they are homemade. And so it's really neat because there's a lot of different things here uh, to, to look at. Success! Casey, we've almost made it back to our car. That white dot out there in the middle of the field. Should we stop for the night and camp? <laughs> we parked way out here. <laughs> it was a good time though. It was, it was fun. It has been a crazy week though for the vlog. It's oh. probably a hodgepodge mess, so we apologize for this week. It's been nuts. It's been one of those weeks. But it was a good time. 
really enjoyed it. Wish we would have had a little bit more time here, but there is another weekend next weekend. The festival hours are 10 to 5, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. But we came up, we looked around, got a couple of small things. Kettle corn. Kettle corn. Had some sausage. Saw oh, some live yeah. entertainment. That guy was good. That guy was good. Yeah. Got some uh, Christmas Mickey earrings. There was a lot of Disney stuff here. Way more Disney stuff than I can remember. And a lot of Jack Skellington. Yes. Very, a I, lot. It's Probably the for fall. fall. Aspect. Yes, the yeah. fall aspect. Lots of Jack Skellington. Yeah. Tons of Disney though all together. Really. It's a good time. Yeah, if you're looking for some crafty Disney stuff and some good eating. Shaker Woods. Check Shaker Woods out. It was nice. Yep, and again, I'll link the website down below. We're gonna try to make it back to our car. <laughs> Oh my. We should have brought provisions. Yeah. No wonder it has a little sign there for golf carts <laughs> across the bridge. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us this week. Again, I'm sorry. It was a crazy <laughs> hodgepodge vlog. But it doesn't matter because it's, it's in, in the, the little, little things. things. Whoa.